Hi guys and welcome back. Today we open door number two in our self-working advent calendar of 2022, where I will drop a new video of the easy but powerful card trick every day all the way till Christmas, so you can pick your favorites to perform and amaze and entertain your family and friends during the Christmas celebrations or be the life of the New Year's party. I'll show you 13 tricks in total, world-class tricks. Guys, remember that we're doing a giveaway to celebrate 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, go check this video out. There you'll find all the instructions you need to join. So today we're doing the tutorial for the trick I showed you yesterday. This trick I found in Card College Lite by Roberto Giobbi. And I do recommend you all to buy basically all of his work. Card College are amazing books. In fact, I uh, would recommend that you go to them after you've read The Royal Road to Card Magic. So this card trick in that book is called T and T. And it's also called apparently Neither Blind, Blind Nor Stupid. And it's by Juan Tamariz. And once again, I, I do recommend you all to check out his work. He's a bit of a genius when it comes to card magic and uh, he's very known for Mnemonica, for example, the Mnemonica stack. So do check both of them out and buy their work and learn their stuff because it's great. So let's get into the tutorial now. We start off with a stack, but it's easy to remember. It's red, black or black, red, alternating all the way through the deck. So you can set this up on the fly if you have the ability to do that, if you have a pretty good uh, spread call or separation move, and if you can do a consistent uh, pharaoh shuffle, you could set this up. It will be easier to separate the two packs in 26-26 in, uh, if you do the pharaoh because, yeah, the colors Will, will be separated. But that's that's pretty far from self-working and far outside the scope of this video. So for most of us, we set this up before we start the trick. And this is a great opener to start with. So we begin by letting them cut the cards how much they want. They can give them how many straight cuts they want. And once they feel content with that, you ask them, is there any way I could know anything about the top cards? And they say, no, of course, because you just cut the cards yourself. So therefore, I'd like you to take the top card and look at it and remember it. So the spectator to your left takes the top card, in this case, the five of clubs, looks at it and remembers it. And the spectator to your right takes the, the ten of diamonds, looks at it, remembers it. Now, the first spectator returns their card first and the second spectator returns their card second. And what have we done there? Now we have uh, reversed the order of those two cards, which is basically all we need to succeed with this trick. So now I ask them, is there any way I could know anything about your cards? They say, no, you say wrong. I know that they're on top of the pack. So please, could you give them one more cut? They do this and you ask, now, is there anything I could know about your, your cards? They say, no, you say wrong. And if you're like Juan Tamaris and you have a bit of an over-the-top personality, you go, I'm neither blind nor stupid, because I know, of course, that your cards are approximately in the middle of the pack. So now, could you cut them again? And this time, cut them a bit deeper or a bit shallower, okay? So they do that as you turn your back so you don't see that. And now you ask, uh, is there anything I could know about your cards now? There is. I know that they're, they're next to each other in the pack. So now I would like you to deal the cards in two piles, alternating between the two piles, to separate them. And you let the spectator do this, and they do that. Now you make sure to monitor this, because if they, for example, deal two cards instead of one, uh, or they skip to, to alternate at one point, uh, the trick won't work. So make sure to, to look at them closely while they do this. So once they've finished dealing and you say something entertaining me while they're doing this to keep it interesting, uh, you ask them again, now I can't know anything about your cards, right? Wrong. I know that they're approximately at the same level in the two uh, packs. So could you please shuffle the cards for me? And what's interesting is while uh, what they did when they dealt the cards is the following. They actually, actually separated the colors. So you can see all the black cards are over here, all the red cards are over here, except from their selections. Because 
we reverse their order, right? So it goes without saying that they can shuffle these as much as they want and we'll still be able to find their cards, right? Just make sure they don't look at the faces of the, of the cards for obvious reasons. And now, finally, you yourself can admit that you can know nothing about where the card is because they shuffle the cards. Still, you will find their cards in lightning speed or about lightning speed. <laughs> and what you do is you go through them, of course, and you just quickly take, take out their selections. The only card that doesn't match the rest of them in color, of course. And there you have it. You've found their selections and the trick is over. Now, this is a very entertaining trick. You can do this as entertaining as you want, really. And if you like Juan Tamaris, you will be... He's, as I said, he's a bit over the top. So he goes at every phase. He goes, no, I'm not blind or stupid. I know that your card is, is next to each other, for example. So, but of course, you do what's what suits your and your performance personality. But it's a great little trick. And uh, what we've done now also is we have the two colors separated, which, which sets us up for tomorrow's trick. So comment down below if you think you know what it is. And if you like this, please subscribe and like the video and press the bell icons so you can be notified when the next video comes out tomorrow. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.